welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you six of the best methods that fix most dev errors, crashes and more in Call of Duty Warzone on PC. Before I get started, I'd like to just say if any of these methods in this video did not help you, then click on the link that's in the description below and there are a lot more methods on my forum. I would now suggest you create a system restore point just in case you encounter any problems. The first method is to simply make sure your Windows 10 is completely up to date. To do this all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you now simply need to press download if you have any updates available as you can see I currently do. Just go ahead and install these updates, restart your PC and then see if that fixed your Call of Duty Warzone. If that did not help, then the next thing to do is check for any graphics card updates and also any other hardware. It is definitely a good idea just to make sure all your hardware is up to date using the latest drivers as this could also be causing problems on your PC trying to run Warzone. The next thing you need to do is go to your Call of Duty shortcut and you now need to right click and go open file location and you now need to right click on the Modern Warfare launcher and click on properties. You now need to go across to compatibility and you now need to select run this program as a administrator and you now need to press apply. And you now need to press OK and do the same for the Modern Warfare.exe below. Go to Properties, Compatibility, run this program as an administrator and press Apply and OK. You can now go ahead and see if this fixes your problem with Modern Warfare. This normally does fix a lot of the crashing problems when trying to play the game. You will also need to be signed in as a administrator. So if you're not an admin, then ask the person that owns the PC to make you a admin. The next thing we are going to do is clear our Battle.net cache. To do this, first we need to open up Task Manager. To open this up, all you need to do is right click on your taskbar and simply click on Task Manager. You now need to make sure your Blizzard app is closed. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. Once that's closed, you now need to look on your task manager and you need to close down Blizzard Update Agent. And you also need to close Agent as well if it's on the list. But on mine, it's not on there. That's absolutely fine. Once you've done that, we can now close down Task Manager and you now need to click down in the bottom left hand corner and type in Run. And you need to open up Run. We now need to type in Program Data and you also need to put the percentage sign at the start and at the end. And you now need to press OK. You will now have a list of all the programs that are installed on your machine. We are now looking for Blizzard entertainment and you need to open this folder and you now need to open up battle.net and the cache folder and you now need to delete all the contents in this folder by pressing delete and there we go I've now cleared the cache and this will resolve a lot of crashing problems with warzone as well once you've done this you now need to restart your pc and see if call of duty boots up and doesn't crash if you are still having problems, then the next thing to do is go onto the Blizzard app. Once you have the program open, you now need to click on Call of Duty MW and you now need to click on Options. We now need to click on Scan and Repair and you now need to press Begin Scan. And this will basically scan the game to make sure there's no corrupted files or anything missing. Once it's finished doing this, you then need to restart your PC again and then try and boot up Call of Duty. And with a bit of luck, it will work. If it doesn't work, 
then as I said at the start of this video, try out a few of the other methods that are in the link in the description. And if you have managed to boot up Call of Duty, but you are getting in-game crashes, then the next thing we need to do now is boot up Call of Duty Warzone. Once you are in Call of Duty Warzone, you now need to click on Options. And we now need to click on Graphics, and we are going to restart our shaders installation by simply clicking on this button here. And this will help fix a lot of problems in Call of Duty Warzone, especially with the graphics crashing and going funny. All you need to do is click and press restart. It will now take a few minutes for it to progress and once it's done you can then try and launch your game and see if that fixed the issue. And the next and last thing you need to do is turn off Nvidia highlights by simply clicking on the left arrow and you now need to press apply settings. And that is it. Like I said, in the description below, there is a link to my forum with lots of other methods that will help fix any crashing problems in Call of Duty Warzone. If you have found a way to fix crashing problems or anything else in the game, then please comment below or register to my new forum and help everyone else out on that thread. I hope this tutorial has helped, if it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.